Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jared from Stewart's Tattooing Experience. I'm back doing another tattoo. Like I said, I was going to do the mushroom. Right now I'm applying the speed stick and so I could stick my mushroom stencil on. I did finally get my dental in, so I'm going to try that because like I said in another video that I uh, heard it's really good. Like it lasts long right after you spray it down with like your green soap or whatever. Like I said, I make my own soap. I don't know if I said in another video, but... I watched another video on making green soap, and what it said is take some distilled water, about a quart, put two ounces of antibacterial soap, uh, preferably those without dyes in it or anything like that, and you can make your own green soap. So uh, I did that, and uh, it should hopefully not eat away this stencil too much since I used speed stick, and it didn't. You know, it lasted through the whole tattoo without a problem, but I can't wait to try the dental. Uh, the stencil did bleed a little bit because of the speed stick. I don't know if I let it dry too much or whatever. It could be the tattoo, the printer that I'm using. Uh, I mean, it is a nice printer. It is definitely printing stencils like I would like it to. I can't wait to do the skull that I'm doing. My other blank spot on my leg right there next to the mushroom. That'll be my next tattoo. But uh, as you can see, the stencil did show up. And I was able to start tattooing it. I got my gun going and I started laying my lines. Uh, right off the bat, I realized I have to slow down again. Like I said, I got to get that speed to voltage ratio going. As I started laying my lines, I realized that right away I said I'm going to get the petroleum jelly going. I put it on my glove, but then I stopped. I forgot to start laying it down as I started laying my first lines. Uh, as I was going through the tattoo, I realized that on the fake skin when I did this tattoo that I... Went over some line areas that I shouldn't have, so this time I tried to really avoid that. Uh, I also realized that I didn't, didn't go deep enough on certain lines, or like I said, went a little too fast. So as this video goes on, you'll see me come back and hit some of those lines up again. But I will just let you guys enjoy watching the tattoo happen, and I will fill you in on some spots as I come across them as what I see as things I need to hit up again. As I was doing this tattoo, I realized again that it's definitely difficult doing different angles and uh, different ways when the, you can't adjust yourself around the tattoo. You have to just do it from one side. Uh, the distance from the body kind of is a thing, from your eyes is a thing too. Uh, trying to see the needle tip as it pierces the skin so you don't go too deep or whatever is, was a little bit of a, a trouble that I had to deal with. Um, also, as we made this video, we had a bunch of technical difficulties. Um, so I'm hoping this video works out good. Uh, there were some spots that we had to edit because the, fo the phone kept shutting off for some weird reason. But I was doing a tattoo, so I can't go back and start a new video. So I had to just go with it. So this is what we got. Uh, I hope everybody's still enjoying it. And uh, I will keep you posted as things go on. Here's where I broke out the bottle of antibacterial soap I made and do my first spray to see how my lines go. Uh, I was pretty impressed with my first line, but yes, there's a couple areas uh, where I connected two lines where it was off a hair. At least I thought it was at the beginning. When I came back to it at the end, it seemed to be pretty good when I was actually cleaning it all up. And it wasn't off as far as I thought. You'll see it when it comes time. It was just some ink buildup that happened to be there when I was cleaning it that I probably should have wiped off a little better. And as you see, with the soap and the stencil, it did bring some of that stencil off, but the stencil held pretty good. I was able to see it through the whole tattoo, so 
I'm going to say that if you're a beginner and all you can get your hands on is some speed stick, it, it does the trick. It works for you. So I would uh, I'd keep it in my tattoo kit for sure for emergencies just in case I run out of Dental or something like that. Like I said, I haven't even gotten to try the Dental. I will use the Dental on my next skull tattoo, which I should show you a picture of uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing next. So here we go with some more wipes. Uh, as you can see, the stencil's still holding up strong. Like I said, you can see it the whole time. Uh, and I hope you guys understand this is my first editing this video this way. I hope to get better at this. Uh, I just kind of jumped in this as I started doing tattoos. I was never really a video maker beforehand. Uh, so I'm going to try and get better as I do these tattoos with my video making skills also. Uh, but as you can see, that you can see that first line I did. It's pretty thin. I actually had to go back and hit it up again later in the video because it just didn't seem dark enough for me. Uh, but that's the thing I want to learn, a technique of being able to uh, make the line darker or lighter depending on the depth of the needle and how fast you're moving the tattoo gun also so you can have those different details and textures within your tattoo. I can't wait to get that good. Uh, some of that's going to have to happen to my skull tattoo when I get to it because it does have some of them thinner lines and some of them lines where you will move a little faster with that tattoo or whatever so you get those spread out uh, dots from the tattoo needle hitting it to give that shading and depth and appeal and whatever to it. I can't wait to do that and try it so I can keep getting better at this thing because I really enjoy doing tattoos. As you can see right here in this section, you can see where I made the cracks. Uh, I stopped at the bottom and kept that spacing. That is the part I was talking about that I messed up on the fake skin because I did the bottom of the rim first and I went right over them instead of leaving those cracks open like they're supposed to. As I go back, I think I could have made them a little wider, but I don't think they're the worst. Uh, you can definitely see that there's a crack there. It looks pretty good. I tried to give it some three-dimensional uh, lines too later in the tattoo. Uh, we'll see how they show up. And I mean, I can kind of see them in my tattoo as I look at it. They're there, but I, they don't show up as much as I was hoped to, to give it that three-dimensional uh, appeal to it. And here you go with the stencil. You can kind of see it's starting to fade. It was starting to get blurry. So I had to really look at the drawing that I had of it to do these uh, drips and stuff like that. And I did. I missed one. I noticed it in the drawing, but it doesn't. It probably wouldn't have showed up that good in the tattoo. It would probably been in the way, so it's not that big of a deal that I missed it. And who's going to really know if they see my tattoo that I missed a drip? Uh, it's in this side right here. You can see there's three of them right there or whatever. And I just did the two on the left side there. The right side, I got all three of them. So. But it's no big deal. It kind of goes well.
Well, the tattoo's coming along pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to get, I noticed in the drawing that one of these drips was a little crooked compared to the other ones. I tried to do my best to straighten it out here, which I did okay. I mean, it's all a little crooked, but it, it, it looks pretty good. I think the fact that uh, it is a natural forming thing, that having that little bit of a wave to it gives it a little bit of appeal. Uh, so it doesn't bother me too bad. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, I came up with a really cool color scheme that I want to do with some reds, uh, purples, greens, and blues that I want to add to this thing. Uh, there's a couple spots that I'm looking at it too now that it's on my leg that I want to touch up and, uh, you know, make it look a little better. Like uh, the top, I kind of made it a little square on the top, so I want to round that off. Uh, I'll, I'll point that out at the end of the video or whatever, but just things that as it sits on my leg and I watch it heal that I think I could have done a little better or I could touch up. And those are all things I plan to do. Uh, this weekend, though, after I do my skull here in the next couple of days, I plan on shading and filling the top one. Uh, I'm going to do colors in there, too. I'm going to shade around the outsides a little bit, leave the centers uh, ready to put some color in there. I have a scheme of some reds, blues, and greens that I want to get in there. And I really can't wait to shade that one and touch that one up and hopefully make them squares a little more square, not so wavy on the edges. I think I could do that when I'm shading it in, make those uh, lines straighter on the edges and see how that goes. It'll be my first time shading or filling on, a, on somebody, and I can't wait to get that done. At this point, I did notice some areas that need touched up again. Uh, as you can see, the stem didn't go all up into the caps, which I could have fixed with some shading or whatever, but I made that go all the way up. Uh, like I said, the line on the right, I hit up a little more, made it a little darker because it definitely was a little light. Uh, I was a little leery when I did it at first because it looked like I might have went too deep and had some blowout, but as it's healing, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look that bad at all. Uh... But just things I got to be careful of, how deep I'm sticking that needle, and how slow I move to my voltage. But uh, I am learning a lot with this and all these things that I keep talking about. Uh, they're it's coming along. I'm super happy with how I'm going with this. And I, like I said, I'll keep making these videos, and, and we, will, we will analyze them, and I will talk about each little thing as much as I know as I learn from the videos I watch.
Here we go. I'm going to hit that line up again. I'm going to make it a little darker. I think I got my speed down. I'm learning how slow I need to go to make sure that needle is piercing the skin at the proper ratio. Uh, like I said, it came out much darker and a little more straight too as I did that. Here's a couple more spots that I had to hit up, uh, get them a little darker. I do realize in these videos that I need to get some music in the background, but I, I don't want to have to be, you know, uh, taking somebody else's music and then having them get mad at me and trying to sue me. So I'm going to have a friend of mine who plays guitar. Hopefully he will make me a cool little riff that we can play over this video or these videos and uh, go from there and just uh, have a little music in the background. Here's what it's starting to look like. As you can see, the top's a little more squared off than I wanted. Uh, did a pretty good clean job here. I think I'm going to add some more warts in it. Like I said, it's various that I notice as I'm looking at it that I want to touch up. Um, but it came out pretty good for my second tattoo. Can't wait to add color and shading. Uh, it's going to probably be another week or two out, letting it heal, get that good heal on. But uh, I'm definitely happy with it. Oh, here we go. A couple spots I still think I needed to touch up or whatever. I think I just wanted to put some uh, detail in the warts or whatnot. So I did that. And as I look at my tattoo now, I could probably go back and add a little more detail. Probably to get the needle deep enough or whatever. But it, it, it has some detail in it. Especially in that top chunk of warts that you see. And like I said, it's pretty square up there. I kind of want to round that off or whatnot. But I'm super stoked with this video. I hope you guys like them. Uh, if you do, uh, just please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know. Leave comments. I will do my best to get back to you uh, in the comments section. But as for now, I hope you guys have a good day. Like I said, like and subscribe. And I will keep making these videos. Thank you very much.